Good afternoon. This is the winning window, Wednesday, 1.30 p.m. And this is our week 31. And we are on the countdown to 2020. So today's question is uh, from Neha, and she's from Delhi. And uh, she says that I want to ask you this question because I cannot personally attend your seminars. And the question is how to deal with people who question your integrity. Okay, how to deal with people who question your integrity. Thank you so much Neha for that lovely question. And I think a lot of us uh, some of the other time have uh, suffered or have been suffering of this problem where we do something and somebody doesn't uh, find this appropriate or someone just feels that it is not in alignment with what they think and they value and they question the integrity. It could be your family, it could be your um, office environment, it could be the other people in the world. And for the rest of you, what is integrity? So uh, integrity for me is, a, is basically a very huge and personal term. Uh, to go about the dictionary meaning of integrity, uh, it's basically uh, the quality of being honest and the quality of being or adhering to your moral values and being sensitive sensitive about your own moral values now that's integrity uh, but for me the integrity is basically the way of life it's the way i look at life it's the way i live my life and what 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 i do when nobody is around me okay? it's very very important uh, to understand what what exactly do you do when nobody's around you? Are you the best version of yourself when you nobody's watching you? Are you doing the same thing in the light and in the dark? And it is not merely the words or the lip service that you do, but you actually, actually do what you say. So it's basically what you think, what you say, and what you do is all in alignment. Then it is in integrity of what you think and what is your moral values. Now, each one of us have got different value system and different priorities and we think uh, what is important to us, right? So sometimes what happens is when someone questions your integrity, it may not be falling in their value system or their uh, understanding of the culture and the society and the priority they feel. And that's the reason they are questioning your integrity however it depends on what sort of a person is this okay what kind of a person as in uh, is this person close to you or is this person uh, really important to you in your life and if that person is questioning you about about your integrity i think it's a huge cause for uh, introspecting your own behavior okay introspecting your own behavior in terms of uh, what is it that am i doing or what is it am I saying or what is it am I not saying or not doing or maybe behaving is triggering some things in this other person okay uh, so what are what what are what are the things that I need to look at when I need to see to it that I I want to change in myself my behavior or my habits that are triggering the person other person or that person is asking me this question now, I think it's a, it's a very important thing to introspect and be aware of your own self because there are two things will happen. One, um, you will be able to understand if you are really, really uh, going uh, or misaligned. I wouldn't say right or wrong because uh, everybody is right and everybody is wrong in uh, each one's understanding. You know what I mean. But uh, it's, it's important to understand what is the misalignment and why... Uh, are you triggering something in the other person? So two things will happen is you will understand primarily that uh, how can you change your own behavior if there is something that you're not doing in alignment with your integrity and you can do that. Or else the other thing will happen is you will understand that there's nothing that you need to change and the other person, the way he's thinking or she's thinking is probably wrong. And in both the cases, you will be at ease because now you know that you are in alignment or not alignment and what you need to do to change that aspect right uh, in the in the first case if you realize that you're in not alignment or you have done something to trigger uh, the other person maybe you can just check with that person uh, what is it and and maybe rectify your behavior 
or maybe apologize for what you have not done if you need to say sorry to that person and and rectify your behavior or do the do the things that are right for that alignment and that will sort a lot of issues however if the person is not really close to you then i think it it should not matter to you because uh, your the person anyways does not have a right to uh, question your integrity the other thing i would suggest is maybe you can just go into the other person's shoes you know and when you have had this conversation related to integrity and the question person has uh, questioned your integrity i would suggest that sit in a solitude pick up a paper and pen and sit down and write the whole conversation from where it started where it ended okay sit down and write the whole conversation from both the sides your side and the other person's side and while you're writing you know uh, what happens is when when the things are happening and when actually situation is there and when the person is blaming you for not being in integrity you are very much in subjective uh, in that situation but when you come out of the situation and when you start writing your mind slows down your anxiety slows down your body slows down your emotions slows down and after that you can you can see the things that you've written down maybe maybe it will leave some clue to you that what exactly happened and if if you feel that there is nothing that you need to work on then anyways you need to go and talk to that person and tell that person why do you feel that i am out of integrity question and if that person gives you a certain answer after that i'm not saying you justify or defend your behavior or things like that but just simply tell the person the whole background from where do you come and why did you say or why did you do what you do so so you have to just just give a complete picture to this person and even after that if the person does not understand then i would suggest let it go again if that person is important to you now say suppose if if it's your boss in the organization you may do it once twice thrice but if it is happening repeatedly then maybe there's a, there's a chances that there is some other issues are going on there between you and your boss and in that case maybe you can either escalate this matter or you can talk to your boss and try to try to figure it out and if nothing works then i would suggest plan that you move out of the organization now i'm saying that this is if this is only one of an expect you know experience or a situation that you come across but if you or if you go from person to person and if there are many people questioning your integrity in your life or many bosses or many organization then i would suggest that look in once again look at it and once again introspect then there is some clue there that you're definitely doing something which is not in alignment with your integrity and then you need to change that work on it and if it if it if it means that you need to take help from a coach mentor or a therapist for that matter if there is any sort of emotional imbalance going on please seek help and get get it sorted for yourself so it's not always that the other person is going to be wrong there is a possibility that there is something that you are thinking or doing or seeing or saying is not in alignment okay again we live in a world full of uh, different kinds of people those i i said that they have different values they have different priorities and the way they think is differently so whatever you do probably there will be few people in your life those who are going to criticize you okay there will be few people in your life those who are going to criticize you no matter what so you need to understand whether what you are doing is right or wrong for you whether it is it is in your moral values does it fit into your frame of understanding of life and if it does then just continue doing what you're doing because when you are on your path when you are in integrity with your own self you feel that you are comfortable just the heart says that you are right you know that peace comes within when you take that action and if that is happening to you that means you are on right track something is settling inside when you are doing those things so don't listen to people continue and do what you're doing and be on your path and when you are successful when you when you achieve your results these are the same people will come back to you and tell you that you know how beautifully you have taken care of things and how beautiful you are progressing in your life so when someone questions you yes it's a matter of uh, introspection if the person really matters to you uh, and if it if your introspection says that everything is okay then just go ahead and do what you need to do okay and if your introspection says that you need to correct something 
then learn that aspect and correct it. But don't hold on to those aspects. Those hold on to it that the person has said something like that because it's unnecessary waste of energy that something as somebody has said something to you and you're holding on to it forever. Okay. So my suggestion is don't hold on to that hot boiling water vessel which is somebody else has given to you. Just throw it away, leave it back and change that aspect if you feel if it means for you. Okay. Uh, now, now, uh, now, I want to I will share this one incidence that came to me when it comes to integrity. Okay, it could be very simple things like what do you feel integrity is. There is a possibility that when when I remember when I was a child, I was always you know when I used to travel in the public transports, I would look at somebody who's older than me. I would empty my seat, give them the seat to sit down. That is something that came to me naturally or making other person cross the road who's probably a blind or maybe an old person quickly pick up the bags from the uh, you know elderly people. I still do those things and, and I don't do those things because I want pat on my back. Because I do it because I feel good about it. Okay? And a huge incident happened uh, with me about a few months back. Uh, so there was a sale going on on Amazon and I ordered a washing machine. I ordered a washing machine and I paid the uh, amount and however they, they had said that it will be delivered to me within uh, 8 to 10 working days. I waited, nothing happened. I asked them, nothing happened. Uh, it took about, uh, you know, about a month or two, I guess, I think almost two months and nothing happened and then finally said that we don't know what happened. Amazon returned my money back and the moment they returned my money back within a couple of days, this parcel was delivered at home, okay, and uh, it was washing machine, and I was wondering like what exactly happened, and then that guy who delivered the washing machine said that it was stuck in some transit, and that's why it took us so long to deliver this parcel. Now, by the time Amazon had returned all my money back, and this parcel was with me, that is a time. And there would be some incidences like that in your life. What do you exactly do when that ha those things happen in your life? Now, I called up the customer care of Amazon and told them that this is what has happened. So either you take the parcel back or you take the money. So finally, they took the parcel away because it, they had to redo the whole process. But how do you behave when nobody is watching you? is the matter of integrity. So you need to understand whether you're really in integrity with your own self, with these small little things that you do. You know, a few days back, very interesting thing happened to me and I would really like to share with you this because a very good friend of mine shared his success principles. Okay, And when I was listening to him, he shared a very wonderful success principle. He calls it a 3H success principle. Okay, Now he says, if you follow this 3H in your life, you will always always be successful and integrity with your own self and the larger purpose of your life. The three H's basically are happy, humble and hungry. So you need to be happy while you're doing what you're doing and you need to spread happiness around you. Okay, so what you give, you get back. The second is you need to be hungry all the time, no matter what level you reach, but you need to be hungry. Because you have to, there's always been something to learn. So keep learning and stay hungry. And the third is humble. So no matter what, wherever you reach in your life, whatever level of success you achieve, stay humble. It's like, you know, we've heard this thing that Jitne fal lagte jhaad mein jhaad utna hi chukta hai. So if you follow these three things, I think it's a, it's a most simple success principle that I have come across, you know, that happy, hungry and humble. I think if you follow this, this is so simple that it automatically puts you back in your integrity. Okay. I hope I have answered your question, Neha. If there's anything more that I, you want me to address, I, I will be very happy to do that. Please write uh, each one of you who's watching this video. If you have any questions for me to answer them, please write to us on the email ID or maybe on the uh, comment box here. Um, Today is a big day again. Today is our 19th ultimate success program, which is happening in Andheri today at 6.30. Um, I'm very excited to be there. And I'm again going to do one more live in the evening when I reach the venue. 
but uh, you know i want to tell share this uh, really really happy thing and really i'm so grateful that i could do what i could do so within just 9 months we could deliver this 19 programs uh, we uh, we have helped more than 3000 people through this 19 programs um, get over their success blocks or whatever the issues that they're facing in their life so if you want to be there uh, you should not miss it it's happening at andheri east helton hotel uh, we are starting shop at 6:30 i'm going to give you the email address and the uh, telephone number where you can contact uh, do write to us if there is anything that you would like to know more and once again this is dr meghna dikshit at the winning window week 31 and thank you for watching this video thank you very much bye bye